Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the duffel bag very easy in GTA 5. So that is why you want to watch the whole video every single minute of the video so you don't miss a single step. Also, make sure to go ahead and actually subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So that way you are kept up to date with all the content happening on there. As well as a like in today's video would be greatly appreciated. As well, make sure to join the Discord GTA Hub as that way you can literally find a bunch of people to actually help you with a bunch of these here videos on the channel and yeah now all out of the way let's go right into the video first thing you want to do is simply go ahead and request your terabyte or get your friend's terabyte if you do not have one from there simply go ahead and actually enter your terabyte once you are inside your terabyte you just want to make sure you're you're in an organization once you're there have an organization then you will be able to activate this big TV screen. So then all you want to do, like I said, is activate the TV screen. Now from there, go to client jobs and then just start up robbery in progress. Now if you do not have a terabyte, your friend will have to do this for you and invite you to their organization and then just continue on with the actual setup of robbery in progress. Now with robbery in progress, you just want to wait for it to actually allow you to then scan all the different banks to find out which one you actually need to go to. So for me, I actually did get on the second uh, bank, so that was pretty easy. Like then, once you have in fact like finished all these TV screen, then you just want to make your way over to that bank. So yeah, like I said, you just want to simply exit the TV screen, and then from there, just simply get on the oppressor if it's you doing it solo, or just leave and then go by yourself if you're doing it with a friend. So then only one person can actually get the duffel bag from actually doing this glitch. So if you're doing it yourself, then you don't have to worry. But if you're doing it with your friend uh, and you want to get the duffel bag, then you will be the only one that literally needs to do this glitch. So yeah, now once you have this bag, make your way over to the bank. You just want to take out all of the robbers actually in the bank. And you want to watch out for the big uh, juggernaut guy actually at the front of the bank. So you just want to go ahead and take out the juggernaut. I tend to use the oppressors, it just speeds everything up, like just fire explosives, and they're all gone. Another way you can actually do this is simply just go ahead and actually get killed by the police. And then when you do in fact respawn, you will not actually have the police, like when you actually go into the bank, like, it could be different, like different banks, they're like, could be different like areas. For me, I accidentally blew myself up. But when you actually do respawn, you will not have the police on you actually entering the bank. So now what you want to do, if you did actually just respawn or like died at all, then just go ahead and enter the bank as normal and then take out the last two remaining bank robbers. Now when you actually do take out the two bank robbers, it will actually be like the furthest one away from you will actually have the one with the duffel bag. So like I said, if you're doing it by yourself, you do not have to worry, like you just simply go ahead and get the duffel bag. But if you're in fact doing it with a friend and whoever wants the duffel bag is the one that has to pick the duffel bag up. So for me I actually did just collect the duffel bag. Now what you want to do from there is simply get back on your oppressor or find a helicopter. You can also request a helicopter from the actual CEO options if you do not actually have an oppressor to actually use. You also want to make sure you have a parachute. If you do not just simply get a chopper and then just get one for free actually from the helicopter. Now all you want to do is simply lose the police and then just fly over to the actual drop location when it does in fact show up on the map. For me it actually did take some time to actually get rid of the police but from there just make sure you have a parachute equipped before you start this next step. From there all you want to do is like I said fly over to the drop off point. Then once you're actually at the drop off point, this is where you want to simply exit the helicopter or the oppressor. Once you have done that, you just want to parachute down to the actual drop off point and you need to make sure you actually land on the yellow circle. If you do not land on the yellow circle, do not worry, simply just go back onto a helicopter or your oppressor and then just try again. 
So yeah, when you actually do jump off, you can actually just hold in your two bumper sticks and they will actually like sort of make it a better aim and slow you down when you're actually gliding as you can see in the gameplay. So you just want to make sure you actually land on the yellow circle itself and then make sure you have delivered the duffel bag. You want to make sure, like I said, land on the yellow circle when actually delivering the duffel bag. So for me, I didn't actually land fully on it, but when I did in fact stand up, it did deliver. So that's all good. Once you have done that, you just want to make your way to the nearest gun store. And then when you're actually at the gun store, you want to go ahead and purchase another parachute this time. So now when you actually make your way to the gun store, you just simply want to go ahead and go to the very back of the counter and then just go ahead and purchase a parachute. Once you have in fact purchased a parachute, you want to go down to the parachute bags. Now at parachute bags, you just want to simply find the Israel parachute bag. If you do not in fact have it, then just go ahead and buy the parachute Israel bag. Once you've done that, simply go ahead and equip the parachute Israel bag and then just simply make your way out of the gun store. Now this is where you want to get back on your oppressor or your helicopter and then make your way to the mask store by the beach. Now once you're over by the mask store at the beach, you just want to make sure you're at a good enough height and then from there just simply parachute down to the mask store. Now this is where the tricky part actually is. As you want to actually parachute right in top of the actual table of either the mask or the hats. Then if you actually do not hit this, do not worry, just simply go ahead and try again with the actual parachuting down. So you just want to simply parachute and you want to get as close, like literally on top of the actual tables as you can see. And as soon as you actually do land, you want to spam right on your d-pad to actually enter your uh, mask or your hats. From there, if you do it correctly, you should see a parachute like in the gameplay. Then just go ahead and actually save the outfit to any outfit slot that you actually want the duffel bag on. Once you've done that, back out and then just go to your style and equip the outfit you did in fact just save. And then boom, just like that, you now have the black duffel bag within GTA 5 Online. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you did go to enjoy it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Remember to turn that bell icon on so you never miss a future video I do go on to upload. And yeah, Venom Place signing out. Peace.